Hello, and welcome to Her First Time, a newly established Let's Play channel featuring me, Hayden, and eventually my girlfriend, Laura. What you're about to watch today is, in essence, a prologue and potential side quest to the channel's main series, a series that will chart Laura's journey to play and complete her first video game. That game will be Dark Souls, so I'm not going to make any further comment on that. Anyway, what you're about to see in this video is just me playing through a few minutes of Dark Souls 2 on an old save file that I have. It's really just me coming to terms with how to make a Let's Play video. So if you have any comments, criticism or feedback that you would like to give, it would greatly be appreciated. I think that makes sense. Yeah, I get quite tongue tied. You'll probably see that a lot throughout the videos. Anyway, without further ado, enjoy. So, this is Pogono's face. He was the character I played through Dark Souls 2, the Scholar of the First Sinners. Uh, it wasn't my first time playing through Dark Souls. I did initially play it on the PS3 when it came out. Even though I loved the original Dark Souls, I actually bought South Park the Stick of Truth instead of getting this straight away on day of release, which, I mean, Stick of Truth was a great game, but I don't think it was any DS2. So yeah, I've got my Platinum in this. This is the character I've used it on. I think I'm currently on New Game Plus 2. This is the run through that I would have really have just run through getting all the four Lord Souls. Sorry now. Just until I could get the Dragon Lake Castle and buy the last few spells that I was missing. He does chains a tree, so I'm just being quite cautious. As as you can see, the cosplay of my character has little to no armor. Okay, is this Hyde Knight gonna come down? We'll wait him out. No, he's not. So yeah, let's go down here for a second and we'll just chalk through the character a little bit because I do love him. He's a creepy looking dude, but so whenever I used to kind of co-op with people, particularly I was helping people a lot with the Demon of Song to earn sun medallions, I used to do the emote for Pumped Up and people just found it really creepy. This guy like that coming up, just pumping at him. Got a lot of swipes of the swords. Uh, we're, what are, what are we, uh, nope, we'll come back to that in a few seconds. Let's go. I'm just going to spam the double-handed or two attack to get rid of this guy. This is not Champagne Dark Souls. Okay. So for any Dark Souls veterans, you probably noticed that moveset has probably been greatly associated with Artorius of the Abyss. And if we look at the sword itself, I think you get, it's called the Majestic Greatsword, an ancient greatsword of unknown origin. This sword was passed down through generations until it reached Gordon, wandering knight of Ferosa, and was lost upon his death. Uncannily, every last one of the prominent swordsmen who inherited this weapon was left-handed. So, presumably, this is Artorius' sword that's been passed down through generation to generation. Yeah. Interesting stuff! Again, it's all tree and tree. Dodge to the right. Oh, that was a two. You made me bleed my own blood. So, what I think I'll just do for this less, this playthrough, this let's play, I don't know really what you're meant to refer to these as, is we will get to 
oh, I can't remember what the boss is called, Ornstein, even though I know a lot of people don't like to say he's Ornstein, particularly after the release of DS3. I mean, the way I look at it is, we know, oh, time is convoluted throughout the Dark Souls universe, and that kind of everything is cyclical and realities converge and stuff. So just because Ornstein left Anne Orlando to go in search of the Nameless King and in the reality of Dark Souls 3 found him, doesn't really mean that in some alternate universe that he didn't set out in the wrong direction and just end up here and end up consumed by the darkness. I mean, the way I would look at it is, is how many times in your life have you lost your car keys? And how many times have they been in the first place you look for them? So, is that a good analogy? I don't know. In my head it makes sense. But like, basically, things aren't always in the first place you look for them. Oh, I've probably done too many there. Right. Hmm. Let's try and bait these guys to get their shields down and take them out with the fireball. Oh, don't want to go off the edge. That was a close call. Time to use an Estus. Estus, Estus, baby. And that's Mola. Um, how's this going to go? I would have preferred the dude at the back. Okay. Let's two hand our great sword again. Oh, he cut me bad there. Fuck. That was stupid. Always dodge to the right. And then I just dodged straight back because. Why not? It's unlikely you will learn any great tactics from watching me play. I suppose it's challenge run in a way. Little to no armor, making it true a tough enough area. Tough enough for this playthrough at least. We're just going to spam the or 2 attack again on this dude. Embrace that, my friend. Ooh! You got up quicker than I... Ooh, I hit him over by the door. You can tell that I actually haven't done this run yet. I obviously bypassed it as it was unnecessary to get to where I was going for the platinum. I've gone on about that platinum a lot. I mean, I'm okay at the PvE. You throw me into PvP and I will just have my ass handed to me. another Estus. Are we all out of spells? We are. Let's... The menu. The greatest enemy. Restore spell uses. I know they're not spells. It's pyromancy. Just ignore me. I can be a dumbass. Okay. It's just baiting them. That's a lot of my playing. <laughs> I know it's not the most courageous way to play the game. Oh. But it's effective. I grow and run. And that guy is getting too close for comfort. Ooh. Okay, we'll get him back down here again. It's slow progression, but we're getting somewhere. 
bit wobbly for the mic. Should we throw a fireball? Nah. That's two and three and swipe and swipe and dead. So yeah, the inspiration for the character came from that bit in Ricky Gervais extras with David Bowie on the piano playing the song, you know, little fat man with a pug nose face, see his pug nose face, pug, pug, see his pug nose face. So yeah, this character in essence was inspired by Ricky Gervais. Do you see the resemblance? No, no, of course not. No. Okay. Uh, stop cursing, Hayden. Messed that up massively. Okay. This is what I get for insulting Gervais. Was a bit touch and go. Okay, what's down here? Probably another useless item that will ultimately be irrelevant because once we get through this, I will. Mm, it's unlikely that I'll ever turn the game on again. I mean, we've got the Dark Souls remastered, we've got Bloodborne. If you watched the start of this video, you probably saw my little Hunter plush. I think it's a nice idea to have those little mascots there throughout the videos. Or else I just seem like... Oof. This is why I keep you down. Stay down. Oh, what am I like? Throw back to the Gervais. Funny. Or not. Derivative, really. <sighs> Balls. Okay, so what I've kind of decided with the editing is that if I die, I'm just going to play up to wherever I last left off, off camera. Just keep it nice and sweet so you guys aren't going to be bogged down with hours of me just replaying the same stuff. We'll be able to keep the videos at a nice, oh, feck it, a dragon and a, haha, <laughs> he, he got you. Hear you like fire, mate. Huh. Cheese Louise, am I right? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna get cheesy with it. There's only one way to take out that dragon. What sort of bows do I have? Do we have a great bow? Do we have great arrows? We do not. So, do some that. Lightning bow dragons are weak to lightning, aren't they? Mm, let's try that. Mm, not too sure. We need our lightning arrows. Yeah, because Gwyn stripped scales off the dragons with his lightning arrows. Yep, yeah, yeah, you know, there is a canon excuse for all of this. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, he done me there. 
Oh no. What about some over? What about me? And I need a whole frame for this. Do I have a whole frame? I presume I do. I need the ring blades on. Boom. I should have been using these arrows the whole time, I suppose. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Surely I have a gold gradient. I get the black arrows, though. It might be because it's the right length. Sea bow might have a greater range. Okay, we're just gonna have to put it itself in the there, the tongue twine. Yeah, yep, great. I actually am though. It's like this. I think it's just that I'm a little bit nervous doing this for the first time. This actual profession is in front of people all the time. And I do that. I say, well, I do it. Fool me once. Just shame. Just shame. And can I hit his wings? 50 damage. Oh. He is a clever, clever boy. Fire don't go through brick. Chicken legs. Talk a doodle do to you too. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did an audio test. I hope all my witty banter has been recorded. Such such a witty banter. Even though less of a chicken, more of a lizard. What what are red things? Knuckles the echidna. Oof. My mind instantly went to a, a less than safe for work meme that was quite popular. Was it the start of this year? Maybe back in January. Yeah, can't can't be doing that accent. I should probably just delete this whole part. And now that that's done, we get to take on the guy that should be slaying that thing. I don't know why it's outside his gaff. Hmm. I keep looking over at the camera. What am I like? Here we go. It's just a straight road into the big pretty cathedral. Take on the dragon slayer. Bum bum ba da. Dum. Ah, uh, no. Oh, go away. Oh. 
I have to fight you, basically. Sure, I wasn't prepared for that. Time to spammy max spam. Standing on my back to another red phantom. Always a smart move. Might be back and wait for me, mister. That's not going to work against you, is it? Oh, I think that was a kill. Talking to the microphone, not away from the microphone. I got far too proud of that kill. It, it, it wasn't glamorous in any way. Oh, I can do that too. Ooh, I should probably appeal though. Some repair powder. Not I am in trouble. What does a repair powder look like in this game even? There we go. Four only, oh no. Oh Jesus, that doesn't even have store at all the way. Alright, if we're going into launch thing, I have this is dark. And then we'll get rid of the whole crane here. Dark water infest tree, that might be handy. I mean, I should be more focused on delivering damage with my ring of blades than. Hmm. Okay. Give yourself a few spells. I mean, that was all snow that was weak against the fire, wasn't it? Back in, back in Anna Lundo. Back in the glory days of the illusion. That's silly, wasted an Estus when I could use one of those. Let's go! Cathedral of the Blue. Should I should I address hmm. that was that was an odd face. Let's do this. Into the mist. Ooh, the old dragon slayer. Hmm, slower. Slower than you used, bro. Still hit just as hard, though. Uh, too soon. I thought he would jump more. I won't be doing any flips. Silly boy. Oh, he just looks so epic with that faded armor, doesn't he? The silver and the plume. Ooh, Ooh that was very close for me. It is so reminiscent of the fight, even with all the towers, the pillars, I should say, and that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely accustomed to that. Ooh, that was a nice roll kill. 
Victory achieved. Give us a pump for our pugnals. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. So I guess that completes my very, very, very first ever Let's Play video. Uh, thank you for joining me. Who's this guy? Oh, the guy at Believe Sentinel or something. I was saying goodbye. Um, let's, let's finish on a nice note. Hide him, hide him, obscure him to the blue. Okay, if you have stuck through all of this, thank you so much for watching. I would really appreciate any feedback that any of you guys have me. I don't even think I've commented on the fact that I'm on a giant oversized fisherman's jumper now compared to my pink suit from earlier in the day. But yeah, like, subscribe, tell everyone you want, watch. Hopefully this goes somewhere. I really enjoy making it. See you soon.